The Word of God encourages us not to be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will take care of itself. Are you filled with doubts on what tomorrow will bring? Are you troubled and feeling hopeless about tomorrow? Receive God's word today of hope and assurance of a better tomorrow. You will be changed. Good evening, viewers. Welcome to tomorrow. Let us pray. Lord, we want to thank you for the privilege to be alive and well today. We thank you for access that we have into your word. We thank you for the spirit of adoption by which we cry, Have a Father. Again, from your word today, grant us revelation, grant us insight and understanding. And help us to apply these things to our daily lives. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. So, welcome to today's episode of Tomorrow. Now, uh, a few weeks ago, we started a series on the anointing. I want to continue on that today. We have said the anointing is God's power or presence upon a person or a thing in order to accomplish God's purpose. So, it's a supernatural empowerment or endowment uh, of God, orchestrated by God himself. And the aim is for God's purpose God's uh, intentions to be accomplished. So the anointing is about the Spirit of God. And we have said to anoint is to smear with oil. We have said the anointing evidences a call, it validates a call, it commissions for a, a divine assignment. Uh, we have also said that the anointing is significant in that it authenticates, it approves, uh, it shows acceptance. I remember we looked at the story of uh, the board, uh, the, the rod of Aaron that bought it last week. And we want to go further from there today. One manifestation of the anointing is inspiration. Inspiration. And the anointing is responsible for the inspiration of God's spirit. So when the anointing manifests at times, it inspires. What does it mean to be inspired? To be inspired is uh, to be moved upon, to be motivated, to be influenced, uh, to be compelled, to be impelled, to act or speak in a particular way. And that way is unusual, uncommon, unnatural. It is only divine. So when you are inspired, you bring out things that people had never seen before. You say things, you do things that people have never experienced before or had before. Why? It is coming from the creator. It is coming from Elohim. Inspiration. Let's read something in scriptures uh, about inspiration. Job 32 and verse 6. Then Elihu, the son of Barakel, the Buzite, answered and said, I am young. And you are very old. Wherefore, I was afraid and does not show my opinion. He wanted to respect old age. Verse 7. I said, days shall speak and multitude of years shall teach wisdom. But there is a spirit in man. And the inspiration of the Almighty gives them understanding. Eliud was saying, I refrain from speaking. I have to show respect because uh, men older than my father were, were, were the ones speaking. But I noticed that nothing they were saying made any sense. So I, 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 I leaned on the inspiration of the Spirit of the Lord to say things that would make sense. So he was the difference in that situation. Let's read that same scripture in the message, uh, uh, Job 32, this time from verse 6 to 10. This is what Elihu, the son of Barakel, the Buzite said, I'm a young man and you are all old and experienced. That's why I kept quiet and held back from joining the discussion. I kept thinking, experience will tell. The longer you live, the wiser you become. But I see I was wrong. It is God's spirit in a person, the breath of the Almighty One, that makes wise human insight possible. It means the inspiration of the Spirit of God brings insight. It brings understanding. It brings revelation beyond the natural. Do you know the Bible was written by the inspiration of the Spirit of God? The Bible says no prophecy of Scripture is of any private interpretation. But holy men of God wrote as they were inspired by the Spirit of God. We wouldn't have had the Bible the way it is today if not for the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Be inspired to sing. Be inspired to write that CV. Be inspired to design uh, that building. Whatever you do, seek inspiration and God's best will mark you out in Jesus' name. See you tomorrow. Till then, God bless you. Bye-bye. We believe you have been blessed. Join us at 9 a.m. tomorrow at Vine Brand Church, Queen School Road, at Giari, for a life-changing experience in our glorious worship service. We are confident that with Jesus, your tomorrow will be better than today. Come now with us and we will do thee good. God bless you.